last review that I did on this site was Air France's La Premiere First Class. This time, it's straight back down to Earth. I'm flying Jetstar from Cairns, where uh, I've been at a travel conference with Hello World for the last few days. It's been absolutely fantastic. Now it's time to go home. I'm flying from Cairns through to Adelaide on Jetstar in economy class, because that's all they've got um, on these flights. Low cost carrier here in Australia. Let's see how they compare to uh, my recent Ryanair and uh, the other low cost carriers that I've uh, done. Join me, let's do it together. Let's go home. Through security, quick and easy, really nice friendly staff here in Cairns Airport, so uh, say hi to them on the way through. Uh, they do a great job, security people, underappreciated, I think. Cairns Airport Terminal is actually really nice. Lots of uh, places to eat, drink, and uh, do a bit of shopping. In terms of regional airports, this is the best regional airport I've seen in Australia. Really, really good. Just heading up to the Qantas Lounge, see if I can uh, get in there and uh, as part of my uh, Qantas One World Platinum status thingy. Just before I got to the lounge, I discovered this nice little historical display highlighting the work of the aviation pioneers that opened up this part of the world and helped create Cairns Airport. This display probably deserves a more prominent position than being hidden in the corner upstairs. Then it was into the lounge and I must say I was impressed. Being a smaller regional airport, I uh, was expecting the lounge to be a little lounge tucked away in a corner somewhere. This Qantas Club, the Qantas Lounge here at Cairns is fantastic, it's huge. Fantastic views out over the airport operations, the runway, the apron here, great coffee. Okay, Cairns Airport, it's my new favourite regional airport. Not that I ever had a favourite regional airport, but uh, this one, really, really good. Time to fly, let's go. And this is when it all went downhill, which is a real pity because until this moment, I've been so impressed. The check-in, security, the lounge, the airport, and all the staff had been so nice. When I got to the gate, all passengers were being asked to weigh their hand luggage. As this didn't happen on my flight up to Cairns, and I hadn't been through this process before, I, of course, decided to film it. It turns out that that was a big mistake. I'm um, not meant to video. I'm um, not meant to video. I'm um, not meant to video. I briefly explained what I was doing and then filmed a close-up of the weight of my luggage. You should have seen the death stare that I got from the Jetstar employee. I then retreated and filmed the following piece to camera. So pre-boarding, every passenger has got to go and have their bag weight. Now we didn't have that in Adelaide, but maximum seven kilos for your hand luggage. Beyond that, I don't know what happens, but reason alone, if you're traveling on business, to uh, avoid Jetstar. It is the direct service here, so I don't really have a choice unless I want to uh, double my travel time, but uh, seven kilos on a domestic flight. Uh, the only airline that I know that's doing that, unnecessary, I think. You'll notice I didn't mention being told not to film in the piece to camera, because I didn't want to make a fuss about it, and I genuinely thought this was the end of it. Sadly, this was not to be. So one of the senior people who jet star at Cairns has just stopped me at the gate and uh, I had a real go at me about uh, filming and uh, what I can and can't do. The, uh, the lady that was doing the weigh-in uh, obviously had a, a be in the billet, uh, a bit of a power trip. Uh, apparently I'm now being referred to like uh, quantum security. Uh, if you're working for an airline, have a look at my reviews. Right? Never film passengers' faces, always very respectful. Never film crew without their permission. Uh, these sorts of YouTube channels, these sorts of reviews, provide a really good bit of publicity, free publicity, for the airline. Um, power tripping 
uh, employees who don't understand that we're all in this industry together, we all need to rebuild, really, really do my head in. Uh, yeah, I was enjoying this experience until, uh, until the whole boarding process started. Uh, yeah, not a fan, not a fan at all. I'd kept my cool, but I wasn't happy. She had demanded to see my footage, told me off like a small child, and then advised me I would be reported through to security. In terms of background, I've been in the travel industry for over 30 years, am joint CEO of our family touring business, and have been doing these videos for the past seven years. I'm therefore well aware of the rules and protocols around filming, and I knew very well I wasn't doing anything wrong. I gave her my card, and I tried to explain how these videos are used, but she was having none of it and didn't let me board until I'd been suitably chastised. Luckily, the staff on board were much better ambassadors of the Jetstar brand. The flight itself was pretty uneventful. Economy class on this A320 was laid out as expected in a 3x3 configuration. The leather seats were comfortable enough and there was a reasonable amount of leg grip. In contrast to Ryanair, you do get a seat pocket to put your stuff in. There's a menu for in-flight food and drink, but my fare booked through Qantas included a $15 credit. But then, this trip had cost me almost $1,100 return, so the least they could do was offer a drink and a sandwich. Jetstar may be low cost, but it is definitely not cheap. As the A320 flies, Cairns and Adelaide are 2,133 kilometres or 1,325 miles apart and the journey takes about 3 hours. There is no in-flight entertainment or Wi-Fi available on Jetstar flights. The best bet therefore is to choose a window seat and marvel at the great Aussie outback below. The biggest tip I can give you if you're ever flying into Adelaide is to always choose an A window seat because if you're flying over the hills you'll be rewarded even on grey cloudy days like this with some great views of the city. So that's it, I'm done, I've arrived in Adelaide, my bags arrived safely and uh, look, the onboard experience was very nice, as was my flight from Adelaide up to Cairns. The crew on board were lovely and did the right thing. I always maintain though, every single person working for an organisation has a responsibility to help shape the culture of that organisation and has a really important role to play in the brand experience. And unfortunately we see so many times, and especially with, with airlines and domestic airlines here in Australia, Qantas I'm looking at you, and Jetstar I'm definitely looking at you, where one or two disgruntled, jaded staff on a power trip ruin the experience. Everybody is part of marketing. Now, luckily the cops weren't here to, uh, or security weren't here to greet me on, uh, on arrival, and nor in essence should they be. When I'm reported through to uh, Qantas security, with a bit of luck, they'll say to that lady, get yourself a grip, transfer her through to the marketing department, and uh, send her for some retraining, because at the end of the day, it's uh, all about rebuilding this industry to come back better and bigger, and all of us need to work together to do that, including us uh, working in the travel industry, selling the flights and selling the airlines, and uh, people blogging. Now, of course, we've got to do that respectfully. I understand that, but I did that. Right? I uh, very nicely explained what I was doing. I gave her one of my cards, but uh, that was unnecessary. Anyway, bad taste. So would I recommend Jetstar? Sadly, no. But uh, look, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment. Um, tell me about your experiences, good and bad, and uh, whether you would fly Jetstar. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy travels. 
And don't forget to check out my channel and do subscribe because there's a whole lot of more reviews on the way and on there as well. So uh, check that out. Until next time, see you later. Happy travels.